hello everyone uh, welcome back today we will be looking of how to implement a UI slider in in your iPhone application so what I will start with is a UI slider uh, let me start with a new project I go to Xcode um, new project and let's start with a view based application so next and I say UI let's call it slider Caps lock is on. slider project let's call it slider maybe slider save it in our um, in the desktop and once I save it there let's see we have all the files that we need and let's start it with doing using um, interface builder and then we'll move on to the code part so let's make two sliders and two, dif uh, two different labels and uh, let's start with our tools with a library of tools so first I need is a UI slider so I drag and drop a slider in my screen let me increase the size for this let me set the properties uh, minimum 0 and let's say maximum 100 so if we're going from 0 to 100 what is the current 0 0.50 let's make it 0 that shows the initial position uh, continuous minimum image so you can set images for this um, a bunch of different things you can do with your slider we'll just keep it this way and next thing I need is a label where I can display what is the value that was selected on the slider the slider by default doesn't show the value uh, so I'll just increase this label hmm. let's go to the label properties and make it blank initially so there's a blank slider uh, everything set up now what I need to do is go to the file owner which is a view controller file so let me go to the view controller file and write some code for it so as I mentioned before so for interface builder we create outlets build outlet and the name of the object slider star slider and next object is a uh, outlet UI label make it label so these two things next I need uh, is a function which gets called when the value of the slider changes mm, so I will call it IB action and say slider changed call it that copy that implement it in the implementation file and now we need to connect the elements with the code so let's go to the so you see label has appeared slider is there so let's connect them so it's connected and next is the action so when the there's no touch there's touch up inside but for this we'll do it for value change every time the value changes of the slider we need to display the value so then go back to the function now so when the slider value changes it will call this function and we'll call it label dot text equal to string we saw how to create strings last time string with format this time instead of giving a object I'm gonna give a float value because slider dot value if you look at it it's a float value float value so I'm gonna get a float back so I want to display that float so there you go we have it set up let me run it and let's see if it works it opens the iPhone simulator and here we go iPhone simulator application loads up window loads up on top of that the slider view control loads up and we see our slider there we go now if you see there are a lot of decimal places what if you want to have only two decimal places this comes from C again so if I just want two decimal plus places plus 0 0.2 if you want 3 you put 0 0.3 so you'll see two three decimal places so there we go that's our slider now I'll make another slider just below it a little bit more below uh, it and uh, do it programmatically so we know how to do it programmatically too so the first function that's called view did load let's uncomment that 
go below it UI slider star slide let's define this in the dot h file so I can say IB not IB outlet UI slider star slider code and UI label slash label code okay so we have both the elements defined in dot h file let's write the rest of the code here uh, slider code equal to we have to allocate and initialize it allocate initialize frame where do I want it let's say I want it at 10 I want it way below 100 width is 300 height is 30 so there we go a slider is there uh, and slider code dot we set minimum value so let's that also uh, slider dot maximum value equal to 100 again or oh, let's change it to say 50 and let's see slider code dot uh, code dot value equal to what is the current selector so for this one let's keep it t dot zero and self dot view add sub view slider code uh, you can also release the slider since you allocated it we'll look at more of this on in memory management so I'm not going to touch it right now so that's our slider is added now we need to add the label code label code is equal to label allocate finished with frame cg rect make um, call it 10 140 330 so given that uh, we also give background color we want to make it transparent clear color and add it to the view yeah cool there we go so our label is added thing is added but we didn't write any code right now to uh, to call the function when the value changes so same thing as same as button you can say add target and where is the target located self what is the action it's a function selector let's say slider code change okay hmm. for control events ui UI event UI UI uh, what are we looking for UI let's say events UI control events UI control event what did we say value changed so event value changed there we go so once we have that take this function name it's not IB action so I'll say void slider change and let's say what is the name of the label code dot text equal to let me copy this it's exactly same except it's slider code see if it shows up or works hmm. so as you see it's up till 50 this is 0 so change that change that reduce 0 to 50 to 50 so it works that's it uh, that's it for slider we'll look at some more of the elements in the next videos thank you for watching bye bye